The Cage of Gods World by Tally Essen and Millie Coleman. Isn't it wonderful to look at fossils and see and think of how over many generations one sort of animal has changed into another. Not only that, but as time goes on we understand things differently. We could think of the Iguanodon, the first to be recognised as a dinosaur, when its bones were found by a Methodist couple from Lewis, they were called Gideon and Mary Mantell. This was before Charles Darwin had written about evolution. But they already thought the world was millions of years old, and they were correct. To start with, people thought that the Iguanodon had a horn on its nose. But now we think it was a thumb spike. Mary Annie was one of the first paleontologists and one of the poorest. She went to a church like ours. When she found an ichthyosaur, they thought it was a crocodile. Later on, people noticed a fin on its back. And so, they started to think it was shaped a bit like a dolphin. She also found a plesiosaur. Some people think the Loch Ness Monster is a plesiosaur. I think we should wait and see. Not very long ago, people thought T-Rex had only two fingers. But now we think it had three fingers, even if the third one is very small. A lot of discoveries have been made by people who just love looking for fossils. Very often scientists didn't want to believe that women could discover things. <laughs> or that poor people could find the truth. Mary Anning suffered from this. But in the end, they had to believe them. Evolution was like that too. But very strangely, many people think it was not true. Maybe they miss out on how wonderful the world is that God made and is making. Evolution is a very exciting thing. It's the way God brought the animals to the planet, from fish to us. That's also the way we need to be, think about our faith. <laughs>